So now let's see how we can work around with library override inside of Blender. So over here, you can see that I'm in a new project window and I'm just going to go around and delete the things in the project so that I can use the library override feature by linking out object from another scene. So first of all, to use the library override, I'm going to link an existing scene. And to do that, I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to go to link. Once I do that, I can go around over here onto the folder that I want. So I'm just going to go to KBlender folder and here you can see cubes and uh, spheres file is there. So once I click on it and click on link, what happens is that uh, it opens up the folder and what I want to do now is bring in the collection. So I'm just going to select the collection and click on link and this is what you have. So now everything is brought in as one object just like this. But let's say I want to control out individual objects and one of the ways to control that out is by using library override. So in order to use library override, I'm going to go around over here onto object while this is selected. Uh, while the collection is selected, I'm going to go around into object and then I'm going to go around into relations. And here you can see that there's make library override. So once I click on this, what happens is that you got this dialog box where you can choose to make library override. And once you do that, this is what happens. So you can see that the collection is now overridden. So you got a different icon right here, as you can see. So now what this, uh, what this means is that all the shapes of the, uh, um, of the object, the colors, whatever you have on the original scene is here, but you can control the objects individually. That is, you can add in animations and so forth right here in this scene. So this is linked out with the original, um, uh, original scene, that is the original file, uh, but you can con um, control out the objects right here. So regarding these objects, if I were to select this and if I were to go around into, let's say, for example, like material options and so forth, you can see that there's uh, all the options available, but you're not, not allowed to change it. That is because all of these options are based upon the original scene right there. So you're allowed to move them out, but not all of the options are accessible from the original scene. And this is how you can work around with the scene. So another uh, person uh, might be able to work around with the models, uh, with the colors, textures, and you can work around with the animations and so forth by using this method. And that is how you can work around with library override feature inside of Blender to work around with linked objects quite easily without using proxy. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.